हेलो एवरी वन मैं किरण सिन्हा मैम और एक बार फिर से आप सभी का स्वागत करती हूँ आपके अपने चैनल इंटेंसिव ट्यूटोरियल में और आज हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं बेटा फॉरेस्ट के बारे में है ना फॉरेस्ट इज आवर लाइफ लाइन तो देखते हैं फॉरेस्ट हमारे लिए कैसे इम्पॉर्टेंट है सो so, इस बात को समझने के लिए सबसे पहले हम लोग स्टार्ट करेंगे वॉट इज फॉरेस्ट ठीक है हम लोग अपनी बात को यहाँ से स्टार्ट करते हैं ठीक है सो अ फॉरेस्ट इज एन एरिया और यू कैन से अ लार्ज पार्ट ऑफ लैंड दैट इज कवर्ड विथ ट्री एंड अ वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ प्लांट्स फॉरेस्ट एक ऐसा एरिया है एक ऐसा बड़ा लैंड का एरिया है जहाँ पर डिफरेंट काइंड के प्लांट्स पाए जाते हैं एंड नॉट ओनली प्लांट्स फॉरेस्ट फॉर्म अ कम्प्लीट इको सिस्टम दैट इंक्लूड्स वेरियस लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म सच एज ट्री सर्व्स प्लांट्स माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स लिविंग वाइल्ड एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स नॉट ओनली दिस दे ऑल्सो इंक्लूड नॉन लिविंग यू कैन से ए बायोटिक फैक्टर लाइक सनलाइट एयर न्यूट्रिय वाटर एंड रॉक्स इफ वी टॉक अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट अगर दिमाग में ये आता है कि फॉरेस्ट कितने तरह के होते हैं वॉट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट तो बेटा टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट डिपेंड करता है द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फॉरेस्ट प्रजेंट ऑन द अर्थ डिपेंड्स अपॉन द जियोग्राफिकल एंड क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ अ पार्टिकुलर रीजन गट इट द टाइप ऑफ प्लांट्स फाउंड इन डिफरेंट फॉरेस्ट वेरी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन ऑफ द रीजन द फॉरेस्ट इज सिचुएटेड इन सो ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ क्लाइमेटिक कंडीशन There are broadly five categories of forest in India. They are named as tropical evergreen forest, tropical deciduous forest, tropical thorn forest, mountain forest, and swamp forest. अगर हम tropical evergreen forest की बात करें तो ये अंडमान निकोबार आइलैंड्स एंड वेस्टर्न घाट में पाया जाता है इन इंडिया ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट आर फाउंड इन मध्य प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश बिहार छत्तीसगढ़ उड़ीसा एंड पार्ट्स ऑफ महाराष्ट्र अगर हम बात करें थॉर्न फॉरेस्ट की तो इट इज लोकेटेड इन द डेक्कन प्लेट्यू गुजरात हरियाणा पंजाब वेस्टर्न मध्य प्रदेश नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ फॉरेस्ट इज माउंटेन रेन फॉरेस्ट ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी फाउंड इन माउंटेन एरिया स्वाम्प फॉरेस्ट दैट इज फाउंड इन मार्सी प्लेस इज एंड नाउ कम टू द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द फॉरेस्ट द ब्रांची पार्ट ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट अब द ट्रंक ऑफ द ट्री और मेन स्टेम ऑफ द ट्री इज नोन एज क्राउन ऑफ द ट्री डिफरेंट ट्रीज have crowns of different type of size so crowns of the tree is of different shape and size it depends upon the size of the tree the branches of the tall tree look like a roof over the other plants this is known as canopy this is the dark inside a thick forest for example in the tropical rain forest the thick covering of the leaves hardly allow any sunlight to come in the floor of the forest in a rain forest the vegetation that grow under the shade of canopy is known as under stories there are different kind of horizontal layer of the under story below the giant and tall tree are a smaller tree below which there are shrubs and tall grasses the herbs form the lowest layer of the tree, uh, forest the forest floor is covered with a layer of dead and decaying leaves 
fruits seeds twigs and herbs it provide favorable condition for seed to germinate into seedling many of these seedling grow up into trees the type of the animal that is found in the forest also differ according to the climatic condition in which the forest is situated beside mammals there are a number of other animals different kind of insects such as ant animals uh, ant beetles spiders millipedes and many more small animals are found in plenty on the bark of tree agar hum log importance of forest ki baat kare to sabse pehle point se hum log shuru karte hain ki forest are habitat of many kind of animals ye bahut tarah ke janwaron ka natural home hai natural home of the animals are called habitat so it is the habitat of many kinds of animals forest provide favorable environmental condition food and shelter to a variety of wild animals insects and microorganisms that are living inside the forest the forest the trees of the forest act as their shelter while a variety of plants and animals are their food itna hi nahi forests are the home of variety of insects and microorganisms because the soil of the forest is highly fertile and therefore it provide favorable condition favorable living condition such as water and nutrients to these organisms so it is very easy to survive these insects and organisms in the forest and they live on the bark of the tree and in the soil different organisms present on the earth are dependent on each other as we know that green plants are autotrophic they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis so forest also supports different food chain it means what every organism depends on other for their food so if you can see in this food chain grass is producer because it is green in color and produce their its own food by the process of photosynthesis so grass is producer grass is eaten by insect insect is eaten by frog and frog is eaten by snake and snake is eaten by eagle in this way it forms a food chain so the chain of organisms in which different organism dependent on each other for their food is called food chain and in a food chain all food change is starts from an autotrophs theek hai and herbivores animals feed on the plant and carnivores dependent upon the herbivores so in the food chain in the in the food chain you can see ki leaf leaf is eaten by caterpillar caterpillar pillar is eaten by chameleon chameleon is eaten by snake and snake is eaten by mongoose so it is a type of food chain got it so leaf is the part of the producer because it is green in color and doing photosynthesis caterpillar is feeding on the plant so it is herbivores and chameleon snake mongoose these all are herbivores sorry carnivores so in a food chain there is a producer then primary consumer and then secondary consumer so producer is the uh, sorry green plants are the 
producer herbivores are the primary consumer and carnivores are the secondary consumer in the forest number of food chains are interconnected so interconnected food chains are called food web but if you will look at this food chain or we if we talk about the a uh, particular food chain what we will find we will find that each and every food chain starts from producer got it green plant who prepared their own food so food chain always starts from producer then its primary consumer then then primary consumer feed on the producer or autotrophic plant so you can in the di diagram or in the food chain you can see ki sunlight and water from the soil they are uh, plant is taking mineral and they do photosynthesis got it then herbivores feed on producer and omnivores carnivores ha na to omnivores feed on herbivores they also feed on flesh of the animal sometimes we uh, omnivores take egg chicken meat fish ha na so they are secondary consumer omnivores are secondary consumer herbivores are primary consumer and कार्निवोर्स जो प्योर कार्निवोर्स एनिमल्स हैं दे आर टर्सियरी कंज्यूमर सो इसमें आप देख सकते हो इस फूड चेन में कि ग्रास इट इज प्रोड्यूसर देन ग्रास ऑपर इट इज हर्बीवोर्स देन देन ओमनीवोर्स इट इज सेकेंडरी कंज्यूमर एंड देन कार्निवोर्स इट इज टर्सियरी कंज्यूमर after death of the living organism whether it is plant or animal that it decomposes decompose them and the nutrients are reverse back in the soil which is again used up by the green plant or you can say producer so this is the cycle in which the nutrients are given back to the soil and in this way the different type of food chain runs and they are interlinked got it so in the forest there are many type of the food waves fed many types of the food chain which are the interconnected and how the nutrients are given back to the soil we can see now it may comes in our mind ki how the nutrients are given back to the soil after the death of the living organism ठीक है सो वॉट हैपन्स वेन द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम डाई वेदर इट इज प्लांट और एनिमल डिकम्पोजर ब्रेक डाउन इन टू अ डार्क कलर सब्सटेंस दैट इज फाउंड इन द सॉइल दैट इज कॉल्ड ह्यूमस ह्यूमस सो ह्यूमस इज मेड फ्रॉम डेड एंड डिकेइंग ऑर्गेनिज्म द ऑर्गेनिजम्स दीज ऑर्गेनिजम्स live upon the decaying matter and convert it into the humus which is rich in the nutrient so let us see who are decomposer who decompose the dead and decaying matter and convert it into the humus so animals that feed on dead and decaying plants and animals and convert them into humus are called decomposer fungi bacteria which is living in the soil they act as decomposer one more things is coming in our mind ki in the forest in agricultural land we are adding fertilizer manure to increase the fertility to increase the growth of the plants but in the forest how these things happen so how nutrients are recycled in the forest see when living organism die 
their remains are turned into organic matter by the decomposer. This keep the soil fertile in the forest and recycle the nutrients. Now come to the next point. Why forests are called green lungs? So let us understand the meaning of this statement why the forest is called green lungs of our earth. We know that plants take up carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Hence the plant in the forest provide oxygen to the animals and the animals in turn provide carbon dioxide to the plant. In this way a balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide is maintained in the atmosphere in forest. This is the reason why forest is called green lungs because forest help in the purification of the atmosphere by maintaining the or balancing the percentage of oxygen and carbon dioxide because carbon dioxide is absorbed by the green plant during the photosynthesis and oxygen is given out. Animals take up that oxygen and provide carbon dioxide for the green plant to do photosynthesis. are called dynamic living entity. See all the organism whether they are plant or animals depend on each other and help each other to survive. Herbivores are dependent on the plant for their food and the carnivores are dependent on herbivores for their food. So the decaying matter of dead animal, plant and their excreta enables the growth of more plants by providing them with adequate amount of nutrients to grow because decomposer deco decompose them and makes turn them into the manure which is the rich in nutrients. So they help in help them to grow. The decomposers de decay the dead matter in the forest and support the growth of plant. Hence, forests are called dynamic living entity. So, is adhar par hum isko explain kar sakte. Let us discuss the next point. How forest prevent floods and soil erosion? So, bita isko samajne ke liye pehle ek chiz samajte hain. The forest act as a natural absorber and allow the rain water to seep into the earth. Because forest the forest bed, hai, floor, hai, it is made up of soil. Hana? A soil has the great capacity to absorb water. So forest is a good absorber, natural absorber and allow the rain water to seep into the earth. As a result, the water table of the area near the forest is high. So the forest control the flow of water and prevent floods. This is because the plants and trees prevent the rain water from directly flowing away. Now question arises ki how forest also help in soil erosion. See, the root of the plant bind the soil and prevent heavy rainfall. Hana, root ka hota hai? Root is deeply embedded in the soil and they firmly hold the soil. So, when the heavy rainfall takes place, they prevent the soil to flow away because they bind the soil very firmly. So, the root of the plant bind the soil and prevent heavy rainfall prevent the soil flowing away 
due to heavy rainfall from flowing away hence the prevent soil erosion so is diagram se hum bachche samajh sakte hain ki how forest prevent the flood see when the heavy rain takes place the tree intercept the rain uske bahav ko us uske speed ko rokta hai usme avrodh paida karta hai kyunki rain water first falls on the uh, roof of the floor है ना उसके लीफ के ऊपर वो ड्रॉप करता है ठीक है सो इट रिड्यूस द स्पीड ठीक है और वो फिर एक रुके हुए स्पीड से स्लोली दे फॉल ऑन द फॉरेस्ट बेड एंड द वाटर एज एब्जॉर्ब्ड बाय द फॉरेस्ट बेड एंड वेरी फ्यू वाटर रन्स थ्रू द रन्स और यू कैन से फ्लो इन टू द रिवर and evaporation transpiration also reduces the amount of water that reaches to the river if we want to understand the soil erosion with this diagram in this diagram you can see ki vegetation means plant small plant or big plant vegetations absorbs the energy of falling water क्योंकि जब रेन आ रहा है तो इट इज़ कमिंग विद द ग्रेट वेलोसिटी इट हैज़ अ ग्रेट काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो वेन इट फॉल्स ऑन द ट्री वॉट हैपन्स ट्री एब्जॉर्ब्स दैट एनर्जी वॉट इट एंड द कवर बेड फ्लोर फ्लोर ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट इज कवर्ड विथ स्मॉल प्लांट ग्रास एंड मेनी टाइप ऑफ द डेड एंड डिकेइंग Uh, living organisms such as dry leaves dry twigs ha na so vegetation help to maintain absorbing capacity theek hai and slow the velocity of the run off and act as a filter to catch sediments got it kyunki water dheere 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 ground ke andar absorb hoga through the फ्लोर ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट वॉट इट एंड अंदर क्या है भाई तो जो प्लांट है उसका जो रूट है रूट होल्ड्स द सॉइल फर्मली शर्ब्स है छोटे छोटे प्लांट हैं दे ऑल्सो होल्ड द सरफेस सॉइल फर्मली सो जब वेन वॉटर फ्लो ऑन द इन द फॉरेस्ट और फॉल डाउन इन द फॉरेस्ट they hardly they hardly damage the surface area is a soil of the surface they reduce the flow of the um, soil so top soil ka removal wahan se nahi ho pata hai because the soil is covered with the forest floor got it so soil soil erosion is well prevented in the forest Uh, the next topic that we are going to discuss that forest not only prevent flood it not only prevent the soil erosion it also help to prevent pollution sound pollution air pollution got it first forest are a rich source of oxygen because number of plants are there they all are doing Uh, photosynthesis so obviously the environment near the forest will is very clean and rich in oxygen hence the air in the and around the forest is always fresh and clean forest prevent a strong wind or dust storm from flowing in the forest area because plants are densely grown there so they reduce the velocity of the air so there is no question of a strong wind or dust storm in the forest the area surrounding the forest generally have a cool climate and they receive a good amount of rainfall forest also absorbs 
loud sounds of the vehicle on the highway near and hence prevent noise pollution also in the forest area now let us try to understand the fact that forest prevent pollution see leaves branches absorbs the sound and block the rainfall reduce the velocity of the rainfall cool and uh, leaves yani ki uh, crown of the tree cool the air through evaporation and transpiration evo transpiration bolte hain hum log leaves also filter pollutants from the air because they take carbon dioxide and give out carbon di uh, give out oxygen leaves provide shade and reduce the wind speed also root stabilize the soil and prevent the erosion so in the air it prevent the dust hana air is dust free because root stabilize the soil root leaves trunks provide habitat for the bird mammal and insect so in this way we can say the sound is absorbed so, uh, forest is the good absorber of the sound it prevent the soil erosion so air near the forest is very clean dust free forest also help us to maintain the water cycle so let us find how forest preserve the water cycle as we know that plant get rid of the excess of water through the process of transpiration so greater the number of plants in an area greater is the amount of the water vapor transpired through the plant got it hence the forest increase the water vapor content in the atmosphere or you can say it increase the humidity in the atmosphere so atmosphere near the forest has greater amount of water vapor in the air due to transpiration when this water vapor cool down they condense and forms cloud which leads to the increase rainfall in the forest area so this rain water gets into the ground and increase the water ground level an underground water level hence forest preserve the water cycle so ab tak ke discussion se ek cheez bahut clear ho gaya hai ki forests are very important part of our life it affects our life in many ways so let us find few more significance of the forest so number 1 forest are natural habitat of a wide variety of the plants and animals number 2 forest help in regulating the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by the process of photosynthesis forest also prevent the risk of global warming by keeping the air clean as the forest plants in the forest take in all the carbon dioxide for the process of photosynthesis and in the return they give out carbon uh, sorry oxygen to the atmosphere so air in the forest is much clean and it prevent the global warming because carbon dioxide is the gas which is responsible for the global warming they also regulate the water cycle on the earth uh, the next point that we can include in the significance of forest is uh, they prevent air water land and noise pollution as we discussed previously in some or the other way point number 6 forest are a rich source of different product they are used by the human beings as for example fruits and vegetables wood raw material for different industries like paper 
food and medical industry for product industry as for example latex gum resins honey wax spices oils these all we are getting from the forest so ab tak ke discussion se ek cheez bahut clear ho gaya hai ki forest is the lifeline of the human being सो so, इसको हम लोग कैसे बढ़ावा दे सकते हैं फॉरेस्ट को हम कैसे प्रिजर्व कर सकते हैं सो फर्स्ट प्रोसेस इज ए फॉरेस्टेशन सो लेट इस सी व्हाट इज ए फॉरेस्टेशन ए फॉरेस्टेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लांटिंग ट्री इन अनप्रोडक्टिव एरिया जो हमारे काम का लैंड एरिया नहीं है वहाँ पर हम लोग फॉरेस्ट को ग्रो कर सकते हैं एंड देयर बाय इंक्रीजिंग द फॉरेस्ट लैंड ऑन द अर्थ इज कॉल्ड ए फॉरेस्टेशन सो शॉर्टकट में आप बोल सकते हो कि प्लांटिंग ऑफ द ट्री ऑन द लार्ज स्केल ऑन द अनप्रोडक्टिव एरिया इज कॉल्ड फॉरेस्टेशन ए फॉरेस्टेशन हेल्प इन इंक्रीजिंग द फॉरेस्ट लैंड एंड दस हेल्प इन इम्प्रूविंग द इन्वामेंटल कंडीशन ऑफ द अर्थ इसके अपोजिट अगर हम बात करें डिफॉरेस्टेशन का तो डिमोलिसिंग द फॉरेस्ट ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल और आप कह सकते हो कंजप्शन ऑफ द फॉरेस्ट एरिया ऑन द लार्ज स्केल ड्यू टू द ग्रोइंग पॉपुलेशन इज कॉल्ड डिफॉरेस्टेशन बिकॉज ह्यूमन बींग अंडर गोज दिस प्रोसेस इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड मोर एंड मोर स्पेस फॉर एक्सटेंडिंग देयर हैबिटेट्स बिकॉज population is growing so their needs are also growing so now let us see what is the bad effect of the deforestation on the human being many animals and plants lost their natural habitat because forest is the natural habitat for the many of the animals it will lead to change in the climate jo aap water cycle ki baat kar rahe the ya कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड के मात्रा को रिड्यूस करके ग्लोबल वार्मिंग को कम करने की बात कर रहे थे तो जब फॉरेस्ट कम हो जाएगा तो ग्लोबल वार्मिंग इंक्रीज हो जाएगा ग्लोबल वार्मिंग का रिस्क रहेगा वाटर साइकिल मेंटेन नहीं होगा क्लाइमेट का चेंज हो जाएगा विदाउट एनी ट्री द वाटर साइकिल गेट डिस्टर्ब एंड द सॉइल ट्राइज आउट सो सॉइल इरोजन का खतरा भी बढ़ जाएगा deforestation also will lead to increase in air pollution as trees are the one that can absorb greenhouse gases that is carbon dioxide so they increase the so uh, carbon dioxide and increase the oxygen content in the atmosphere so when we disturb the forest obviously there will be balance between the carbon dioxide and oxygen will also disturb what it deforestation can lead to increase flood as the trees will no longer there to regulate and steady flow of the water so agar nut cell mein hum ek baat kehna chahe तो हम कह सकते हैं कि फॉरेस्ट इज नॉट द रिसोर्स फॉर अस इट इज लाइफ इट सेल्फ इट इज द ओनली प्लेस फॉर अस टू लीव